All right, this game is called Decimal Dice to Ten. In order to play it, you'll need two dice and something to write with. So the way that you play the game is you start out by, um, say it's you and your partner, so person one and person two. And you start out by, you get three rounds, you roll the dice. So I have an eight and a four, and I could choose to put those in either order, 4.8 or 8.4. And then I write that down. So I'll do 4.8. Then it would be my partner's turn. They roll the two dice, and they have a one and a nine. So let's say they chose to put it that way, 1.9. Then it would be person two's turn again, my turn. Uh, oof, that's a terrible roll. So I got a nine and an eight. So I would go 8.9. And then I would need to add that together. Uh, and to practice adding, you could stack it, it's just fine. Um, you could also use the thousand squares that they were practicing, or a hundred square that they were practicing from last week, or a number line is what we've been doing this week. So starting with four point, it's actually it's easier sometimes to start with a bigger number. So start with 8.9, and then you could move the four. And sometimes the kids might need to split that into two and two for some some students to break it down. So plus plus two is ten point nine, and then plus two more is twelve point nine, and then we need to add that point eight. So what I teach the kids with this is you look at how could you break it easily down the point eight so that you can get to the next whole number. So if you add point one and then point seven, so you would go plus point one, which would get you to 13, and then plus point seven, which is 13.7. All right, so I'm at 13.7, which is really not very good because the object of the game is after three rounds to get as close to 10 as possible. So now it's my partner's turn, and they have a zero and an eight, so they could choose to go either way. Let's say they chose 8.0, and this one is easier to, to do just stacking if they wanted, which is 9.9 .9, because there's no regrouping on that. Okay, so third roll, I got a six and a three. So the best I could do is add my, as add 3.6 to this. If I wanted to continue this to show how it keeps moving up the number line, uh, let's say I do my three first. It's point, or sorry, not point three, plus three. And then me to 16.7 and then now again I have 0.7 or sorry 0.6 from my 3.6 and I want to look at how I can break that down to make it to get to that next whole number so I can do 0.3 and, and then 0.3 so if I do plus 0.3 gets me to 17 and plus another 0.3 gets me to 17.3 so that was a terrible set of three. I ended up at 17.3. And let's see what this, my partner would have gotten. Ooh, they did pretty poorly too. So a six and an eight. So 6.8. And then you could add that up. So I'm showing both ways. So we're doing this one on a number line. We could do this one by stacking. So then as a lot of you are familiar with, you just, you nine and your eight, and you carry your 10 over here, um, and then you add that together. So 10, 16.7. So they end up, you look and you see who's closer. And you can see 16.7 is only 6.7 away from 10, and 17.3 is 7.3 away from 10. So my partner won the game. Sometimes they end up with less than 10. Um, so you would just, how many more to 10? Um, 
and see if that's less far away than your partner had. So that's how you play the game.